My name is Hannah, and this is my Year of Less Stuff. Hey y'all, it's time for another empties video. These are my empties. They have quite accrued since my last empties video. There's a lot of good stuff in here. There's a lot of good stuff in that there are a lot of products that are good that I'm excited to talk about, but there's also some like juicy empties, like some things that actually aren't even empty. I'm just letting them go before their time because there's something wrong with them or I don't like them. So I'm excited to dig into this one. I think it's going to be a fun and dynamic empties video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Hannah. I love beautiful things, but I have a troubled history with overspending on beautiful things. So I try to keep a balance on my channel. I appreciate beautiful things and products and admit that they can add value to a life, but I'm not up here to normalize overspending. I'm not about that life. So if that kind of balanced content sounds good to you, I hope that you'll subscribe. Let's go ahead and get in to the empties video. Ooh, I want to go in no particular order like I always do, but there's some near the bottom that I'm excited to talk about. But I'm not going to dig them out. I'm just going to go first things first. So the Athena Club. Actually, there's an update to do with my experience with the Athena Club, so I'm glad that this one's on top. I am trying this Razor subscription service, and in terms of like the Razor part of it, it's actually going great. I still really love the Razors. I am finding it really easy to skip deliveries of the razors if I still have them from the last delivery because man the Athena Club is like fitting me out with more fresh fresh razor heads than I've ever had in my life. I'm basically used to like continuing to scrape away at my leg hairs with the same razor for months on end until I just throw out my hands in disgust and finally bring myself to buy like the ugly ones from the grocery store or the drugstore. I love these ones though. They're so beautiful. It's just, it's fun to have like a beautiful razor in the shower and it's fun to have beautiful fresh new razor heads coming in the mail. It's especially fun because they don't cost more. It, my current razor situation is not costing me more than my other razor situation was and it's just way, way better. Love it. So I really like the Athena Club for that. I'm still signed up. I'm still using them. The Cloud Shave Foam, which is this that's empty, is another thing that I really love from this brand. The product is fantastic. It's so foamy. It's so lovely. It smells so good. Many of you were like, the body wash is the same smell. No, it's not. I'm here to tell you that it's not because I also got the body wash and um, it's a different smell. It smells much more like, ah, like a Cabbage Patch doll. You know what I mean? You know that smell of doll, or I feel like the, the doll that I actually, I don't think I owned it, but a friend owned a strawberry shortcake doll. It was like a doll where its skirt was also a cupcake and it had a smell like a, like a doll, plasticky doll smell, perfume smell. And the scent that they have, I, I think that what I've determined is that the Athena Club has two signature scents. And the scent that, the strawberry shortcake scent is the one that they've put into the body wash. And the exquisite heavenly scent is the one that they've put into the cloud foam. So the deodorant, BRB. So if you decide to get the deodorant from the Athena Club, which I did decide to do, you can pick your scent. You can either go with number one, which is strawberry shortcake, or number two, which is exquisite heavenly. I went with scent number two, of course, and I still love this. Update on this. Are we getting like the whole update on the Athena Club here at the beginning of this empties video? Not sponsored, by the way. I found them myself. I'm paying for it myself. They don't even know who I am. The deodorant's great. The cloud foam is fantastic. I use it all up. That's why it's here in my empties. And the body wash. I, sorry, I just I just cavalierly threw the cloud foam onto the floor after I finished talking about it, and then that's, that was what that noise was. The body wash, I, I'm i getting rid of. I've only used like this much of it and I can't with it anymore. I'm, I am giving it away. So I put it in my empties so that I could talk about it in this video because, yeah. Oh yeah, it smells like strawberry shortcake at the pool. Like, it smells like a little bit of sort of sunscreeny. And you know what that is? It's because it there's coconut oil in it. It, it's full of coconut oil. Like it's one of the main ingredients, so much so that you can smell the coconut oil in it. Like it smells coconutty. And it has broken me out all over my body. 
Um, and it's been a really long time since I've had this. I don't know if you can see at the studio lights might me might be doing me like too many favors to be able to talk about this in this video. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because the lights might be washing it out, but I have little spots. They're not like huge, you know, pulsing <laughs> cystic, like the kinds of things I used to get all over my chest when I was an adolescent or when I was dealing with like bad hormonal acne in my early 20s. But just like little dots, like little clogged pores that have become inflamed all over my shoulders, my back, upper back, and all over my chest. So the Athena Club body wash is not for me. Too much coconut oil. I'm going to give it away to someone whose body pores aren't prone to be clogged or who's not acne prone at all. I don't like the smell. I don't know if you can tell, <laughs> but I, I don't like that strawberry shortcake went to the beach strawberry shortcake grew up and became a lifeguard. I don't really like that smell, but I would stick it, it it's fine, like it's perfectly lathery and creamy enough and cleans the body well enough that I would have stuck it out if it hadn't done this to me, but it did do this to me, so it's, it's goodbye. This I don't need to go on at much length about because I talked about it in the video about how I spent my budget in July because I replaced this, it was one of the, the replacements. So this is the Autoderm, oil body wash from Bioderma. I love it. I love, love, love it. Like it's the best. It checks all of my boxes. I will continue to return to this over and over again, I'm sure. And it's so well priced, especially for like a really well formulated sensitive skin oil wash. It's like beautiful to use. It's under $20 for this giant thing and it lasts and lasts. So yeah, love this a lot. I replaced it, as you'll know if you saw that video, with the cream version of Atoderm, just because I wanted a little spicy variety in my life. Um, and I think I'll probably be like switching off between this one and that one. There's also a gel one. Has anyone tried the gel Atoderm body wash? Should I try it? It doesn't have as good reviews as the other two, so I'm a little bit tentative about trying it. Also a replacement, also something I talked about, the R & Co Cactus Texturizing Shampoo featuring the beautiful ingredient diatomaceous earth. Anyway, everybody who's ever seen my channel knows everything about this shampoo. I feel like I talk about it like every day, talk about it in every video. <laughs> and in every video I call it diatomaceous earth. Great shampoo if you, if you, like me, want to just wash your hair once a week or once every 10 days, never really brush your hair except for right before washing, want volume, don't use conditioner, and you want your hair to be like a messy rat's nest rather than being like a sleek, I don't know, like a sleek, bouncing, shining, blowing in the wind, Pantene Pro-V commercial. Like I don't want it to be like a Pantene Pro-V commercial. I want it to be like a mop that somebody didn't take good care of. If that's what you want to, <laughs> then check this out. Oh, this is an interesting product. I am I am excited to talk about this. The Herborean Black Cleansing Oil. So this, you may remember, came to me ages and ages ago through Octoly. So it was PR. And I have talked so much about not being interested in spending high-end prices on oil cleansers, or on cleansers in general, like first cleansers in general, because um, you just wash them down the drain. So, um, you know, any kind of like highfalutin ingredient that's in it actually isn't really getting into your skin. I feel like a cleanser, it's just performing a physical task. And so it doesn't make sense to pay top dollar for that because there are so many things that perform that physical task for drugstore prices. I've never really come across a, a high-end oil cleanser or even second cleanse that I feel like is good value for money because um, I use a lot of product when I use stuff. I use a lot at a time. When I use shampoo, I use a lot. I use a lot of face wash, a lot of body wash. I just am one of these people who tends to go through product. It's just it's how I am. But that's part of why I'm so committed to finding drugstore options for things like this. So the Simple Cleansing Oil, it's like $7 a bottle, works beautifully, it's mostly grapeseed, I absolutely love that. And I've said over and over again that if I were buying my own cleansing products, if I didn't get PR, if I wasn't on YouTube and it was just me out there trying to buy the best thing for me, that's the one that I would be buying. This, I don't think that I would rush out and buy this. Like I'm not gonna change my tune to that extent where I'm saying like, actually I have a new pick and if I were buying all my own skincare, I'd buy the Herborean Black Cleansing Oil for my first cleanse. I'm not gonna go that far. But I will say that because of the viscosity of this product and the size of the bottle, 
The value for money is much, much better than any other high-end first cleanse I have ever come across. So before my no buy year, when I was misguidedly spending thousands of dollars a year on skincare, I was devoted to the fresh sea berry cleansing oil, which is a tall, thin bottle of mostly just grapeseed oil from fresh. And it's like $50. And I was first cleansing with it every night. And I was going through it like one a month or like one every month and a half. And that was just nuts. So when I say like high end prices on first cleanses value for money being bad, that's what I'm thinking about. This I have been using almost exclusively as my first cleanse, maybe even exclusively for months, six months or something. Actually, let me check Instagram because I have actually a really one of my favorite Instagram pictures I've ever posted featured this product and it was right around the time that I got it so if I can see when I posted that I'll know how long it lasted me I was right six months so more than that actually so it says that I posted the picture of this 27 weeks ago and that's almost seven months ago so I've been using it almost exclusively and it's lasted over half a year and I think it's something like 30 dollars might even be something like 35 dollars like it's it's a expensive bottle compared to the one from simple for example which is like seven dollars a bottle but if it lasts that long this lasting six plus months and keep in mind this is with me using it and i'm a monster i'm like using using kind of like a lot every time which is bringing me to what it is about this product that i think causes it to last so long which is the viscosity get to that in a second but if it's lasting six plus months, or for somebody who's less of a monster than me, I could see it lasting a year. Like I could see it just lasting and lasting and lasting. Then that 30, 40, even if it's $50, which I don't think it is that much, I think it's like between 30 and 40 or 45, it's possible that your dollar is going as far as my dollar would be going if I were buying the one from Simple, which is in a smaller bottle. And it's also a thinner consistency, so it doesn't go quite as far. So I've been very impressed by this product in the realm of value for money quite apart from being impressed by it working well, which it does work well, and I'll, I'll briefly touch on that now. So it's very thick. It doesn't feel quite like an oil. It feels like a, like a syrup almost, like really, really thick. And so I only need a little bit. And because it comes out of um, this sort of squeezy, dribbly tube like this, like it's not a pump. And also you can't really, even though it looks like you'd be able to squeeze this, you can't really. So you're just pouring it out. And because it's like, really, really viscous and gooey, like a tar. Um, it dribbles out kind of slowly and um, and you feel like you get quite enough to do your whole face when there's only like, I don't know, a dime sized amount. And so it's like the way that it comes out, the way that it's dispensed and also the texture of the product and the length of time it takes to pour it out and the packaging, all of that works together to keep me from using too much, to keep me from overusing it. And then a little bit goes a very, very long way. It goes on kind of slimy and, and um, stretchy, and then it works up into a lather, a pretty rich lather. And I never feel like I didn't get enough on my face. I always feel like I can get a really, really good cleanse with a, a lot of it. The black charcoal stuff, I don't know. Like I, I always think of charcoal as being a an ingredient that's for oily skin and so I tend to shy away from it because I have quite dry skin so I would be happy with this even if it didn't have that feature the the really dramatic color and the fact that it's formulated with charcoal that's really not what it's all about for me um, it's about how long the bottle lasted the fact that it did its job really really well was pleasant to use etc I think I do have cleansing oil in my backup box right now um, so I don't need to go out and buy one yet um, but when the day comes, it'll actually be interesting to see if I choose the one from Simple or if I do the math and consider everything. Um, there's a chance that I could end up repurchasing, repurchasing this simply because it's such a good budget option for me, given how long it took me to use up this bottle. So very interesting tea. Ugh, sad. This is something else that I'm decluttering, not because I used it up, but because it when something went wrong it um it got all gummy it dried out it's an eye cream from this brand fleur and b which um they sent me i think a while back they sent me like their whole line that they launched with it's a relatively new brand and i found the products to be totally inoffensive like you know decently well formulated the price point's kind of middle middle of the road 
Uh, but none of the formulas really impressed me or gripped me. None of them were like, whoa, this looks like it's packed with great stuff and it's going to be awesome. So in terms of the ingredients, it struck me as a brand that's geared towards younger people, like people who are really just, um, or not just younger people, but specifically the demographic of younger people who aren't really struggling with their skin at all. So if you're young and you have um, like a good skin already, but you still want to get in the habit of like cleansing and using a night cream, or if your only problem is that your skin's like a little bit dry or like you, you need to take off your makeup or something like, I think, I think that that's the demographic that this is maybe a good brand for. Um, but then the pricing, while not high, while not like high end or astronomical, it's higher than a lot of drugstore brands that would serve that same demographic. So that's kind of why I never got super into the brand um, and I don't really talk about them very much on my channel. Um, but I was really excited about trying the eye cream because of everything they sent me, it's the thing that I was the most, mm, I don't know, the most impressed by when I like tested the formula and swatched. I remember touching it and it was like really thick and felt like it would be really moisturizing for my under eyes and the ingredients are pretty good too. Um, and so it was in my backups box and I went to use it recently because I ran out of another eye cream that I was using that I'm now seeing is not, the bottle's not in here and I don't know where it is. Aha, it had fallen out. So um, the eye cream that I was using is this one by Verify, which I really did like, the 2020 eye cream. One annoying thing though is that I can see through the bottle because it's glass and I can see that there's still product left in here, but the pump has stopped pumping it out and I, I had a hard time trying to like get it off to get it out. I just, I feel like there's maybe five to 10% of the product that I like can't use because I can't get it out of the bottle. So that's like a little bit annoying. But in terms of the product itself, it was great. When I, when I stopped being able to use it because I couldn't get the rest out, I don't want to say like I ran out of it, but I, I ran out of the usable substance that was left. When that happened, I went into my backups box and I was like, oh yeah, I can get that one from Fleur and B. I opened it up and it was completely dried out and, and stuck to the sides. It's just turned into like a gummy, a gummy paste. And I, I was like, I remembered it being thick, but not this thick. And so I actually tried to use it one night because I thought maybe I was just wrong about the consistency and maybe it's supposed to be like this, but it's not. It just, it's so gummy and dry that it's like pilled up immediately when I tried to apply it to my under eyes. So um, it, I'm going to have to dispose of this. Hmm. Oh, the cactus cream, y'all. I, I've been doing this thing where I'm not opening a new one of my favorite thing until I've used up all of the others. I have to, because otherwise this is what happens. I have some other night creams that are still being tested that are like still in the works, but I haven't used them up yet. And I got this and I was like, when I use them up, I'll start using the cactus cream because it's my favorite. But instead what I did was I just used this. I started using it right away and I used it up. It's the Latter Joe cactus cream. I get it from Amazon. Um, it's relatively inexpensive. I think that the price fluctuates a little bit. Um, it's a K-beauty product. It does have some fragrance in it. This tube of it seemed less fragranced than the first one that I had. The first one that I had, which was sent to me as PR, I remember being just like overwhelmed by the fragrance. I just, I actually remember when I opened it, I was like, this is so fragranced. There's no way that it's gonna be good. I probably won't like it. But I went home that night and I tried it, a thick layer on top of all of my evening skincare. And I woke up the next morning and my skin was like, ah, love you so much, do that again. And so then I just kept using it and I absolutely loved it. I think the thing that I really love about it is that it has a slightly, very gently exfoliating ingredient in it. In, the ingredient is urea. I know that you can use urea at a really high concentration to like massively exfoliate like your elbows and feet and stuff like that, but it's in this at a very small concentration and my skin just loves it. My skin loves that just like, sorry, I got cut off. My skin loves that very slight gentle exfoliation. Just how, whatever it is about this, my skin just loves it. I'm glad that this one seems less fragranced. I don't know if they reformulated it or if the batch was just different or what, um, but there is still some fragrance in it. So I know that that's a deal breaker for a lot of people. I'm tempted to buy this again, but I'm not gonna do it yet because I just have a couple of others that I need to finish off. Um, and I'm doing the same thing with, <laughs> I'm doing the same thing with the VDL Lumilera primer. This is my favorite primer of all time. I used up this one and I do have another one, but I'm leaving it unopened. It came in PR from YesStyle. 
I'm leaving it unopened until I finish all of my primers. And I've got to say, I'm closing in on it. I'm making real progress with my remaining primers. I think I just have two left. And then um, I'll be able to open my new bottle of the Lumi Layer. It's so good. Deodorant. This was my old standard, the Toms of Maine Long Lasting Wild Lavender. I liked it because it worked. It was simple. It's it's not um, it's not a, an antiperspirant. It's just a deodorant, so it's natural. And I would have repurchased it again if the one from the Athena Club had not worked out for me. But I am very pleased to report that it is working out. And um, even though I've been using this for years, like years and years and years, I do like it. And even though that's true, I I'm excited to have a change. Like it's exciting to be using this cool deodorant. Uh, there have been many times that I've been tempted to try branching out to a new one, but I just, I don't know, I didn't want it to go wrong. And I knew that this one worked, so I just kept kept on buying it. And it is a natural deodorant that I think is like top of class. I think it's really good. Um, but I'm glad that I decided to try the one from Athena Club because the smell is just awesome. Oh, I was, when I was talking about primers, I was about to be like, speaking of using up my primers, but then I looked into the box and I didn't see any. And then I was like, I thought I used one up and I did. I just didn't see it. The SOS Clarins primer, the, the Clarins SOS radiance primer. These Clarins primers are so good. And one of the things that I really love about them is that it's a pump connected to a tube, but as you pump, it sucks the air out and you get every last drop of product out. This has been almost empty, like flat and looked empty for weeks and weeks. And every time I pumped, more would come out. It's also a very beautiful primer. I like this one. And I also really like the green one that's in this same packaging. It's a bit expensive. I think they're like $40. So I probably wouldn't go buying them because it's just, it's not my MO. I, I will pick the one from um, VDL, the Lumi Layer one. But um, I can report that I do love the formulas. I'm very impressed by the packaging and the longevity, even though there's not that much, even though it's not like huge. Um, I guess it's probably an ounce. Yeah, it's one ounce, just like a lot of this type of thing is one ounce. But I felt like the ounce went a really long way. And I, and I definitely felt like I was able to use every single drop of that one ounce. So this is, this is a great product. It's something that Lauren might have given this to me actually. I don't think it, it came to me in PR, um, but, it, but I didn't buy it myself and I'm really glad that I got the chance to use it. It's a good primer. My sweet friend Michelle sent this to me as a gift. It's um, the Air and Spaces Peppermint Sugar Scrub. It's such an indulgent gift because I've had a couple of tubs of this Air and Spaces Peppermint Scrub that came to me as PR from Air and Spaces. And I go through them so quickly because I love scrub, I love body scrub, and I use a huge handful when I use it. So, you know, in this container, there's only like a couple huge handfuls. If I, you know, if I had control and I just used it like once a week as a special treat, then I could probably have made it last for a month um, or, or a month and a half or something, but I can't. It's like when I'm in the shower, if I have a body scrub, I use it. You guys already know that I really love this Erin Spaces product. I'm really grateful to Michelle for having sent this to me. It's such a sweet gift. Um, and I've been thinking about maybe trying to make my own body scrub, my own sugar scrub. Is that something that you guys would want to see me do on camera? Like, or should I just experiment with it and then report back to you about how it goes? I just envision myself looking up the ingredients and buying them cheaply and then making like a giant tub, like a giant thing of, of sugar scrub so that I can just always be scrubbing myself in the shower and in the bath and and not feeling like I'm being wasteful because it's just like, it, it doesn't correlate, the, the way that I use the product doesn't correlate with, you know, the specialness and the investment of a product like this and from other brands that make this kind of thing. So if you have experience with that, let me know. Like if you know where to buy the buy the ingredients or if you know about like tutorials and stuff. I mean, I'm, I haven't looked into it yet. I've, I've just had the idea and I'm telling you about it. Um, but if you know more than I do about making your own sugar scrub at home, let me hear about it. All right, closing in on it and I'm running out of steam. I finished up the Glossier Moisturizing Moon Mask. This is um, one of my favorite products from Glossier. 
I feel like it's it's a little bit too expensive for me. It's twenty two dollars, and um, my current relationship with masking leads me to not buy this with my money. I just feel like it's not the thing. But I had some store credit at Glossier from people clicking through my link, my referral link. And um, so I use some of that store credit to get this as a treat. And it is great. It's a great moisturizing mask. I also feel like it sometimes calms my skin down a little bit. Like sometimes if I feel not like active, bad breakouts, but sometimes if I just feel like my skin's a little bit like just a little testy, Using this mask, um, it helps. In the morning, I'll wake up and, and my skin will be less testy. So um, this is a, a great product. It's just, I'm just not really a mask buyer. Look who came to say hi. She just came over and started like winding her little body around the legs of my chair and rubbing her little face on it. And she was like, pick me up, let's be together. The Gucci mascara, I am literally going to skip talking about it because I've talked about it so much recently. Um, I think probably the most recent and best video for me to send you to if you want to hear my thoughts on this is the one about the five best makeup products that I've tried so far in 2020. So I'll, I'll put that down below and obviously that kind of clues you into how I feel about it. It was great. I also have a whole review about it. I've just I've talked about it ad infinitum. You guys don't need to hear me talk about it anymore. But um, it's it's in my empties. It's done. I used it up. It's all dried out. Um, it was fun while it lasted. Likewise, the Algenist Green Color Corrector. Although when I mentioned it recently in the video, then I was like, I'm not going to talk about it at length because I'll talk about it in my empties. And then I kind of did talk about it at length, or I talked about the fact that it isn't as pigmented and that it's runnier than the one that I have. That's my color corrector of choice, which is the one from the Sephora collection, the Bright Future. Basically, it didn't last as long as I was hoping it would last because of the price and the amount that's in here. And I think that the reason it didn't last as long as I was hoping it would last is that I had to use more than I have had to use of other more pigmented color cor correctors in the past in order to get the color correction that I desired. And I think that that's probably because it's kind of runny. It's just a pretty liquidy runny product. And the pigment, the green is paler. It's like a, it's just like a lighter green, just like a, a less intense tool than the one that I love from the Sephora collection. And even than the one that I had, then I had, then the one that I had before that, which was the one from Lancome the camouflage one that's like super intense and sticky. The other thing that I didn't really love about it is that it was liquidy and so it felt sort of skin-like and lovely and serum-y, but then it had kind of a matte finish. And there were times when I would put like a glowy thing on my on my face, like what I've been doing lately, let me tell you, is taking this, the Daniel Sandler Watercolor Liquid Cheek Color in Moon Glow. So it's like the highlighter version of the Daniel Sandler Watercolor Blush. I've basically been putting it all over my face. Like I've been putting it down on top of my primer or sometimes mixing it in with my primer to give myself like a super, super glowy base. And so when I would do a thing like that, like really illuminate my skin, then I would go in with this and it would like kill that shine because I think there's a little bit of clay in it. And so it just, I don't know, I, I think it would maybe be good if you have oily skin and you're always trying to mattify and you're looking for color corrector that will assist with that. But I didn't like that. I, I felt like in many cases it negated other products that I was putting on my skin, it negated their effects. So um, it was fine, but I'm glad that I that it's used up and that I was able to move on to another one. And then lastly, the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Very simple what I have to say about this, and it is that I absolutely loved it. <laughs> I loved it, but I'll never buy it. It's just too expensive, too ridiculously expensive. But I feel like what they have said is true what the influencers have all said is true, which is that it is an exquisite product and it does make you look really dewy and glowy. Um, I enjoyed using this little sample. Uh, it was a, it was a treat. And that is it. Those are my empties. Um, I've thrown them all on the floor, so I'm just gonna count them from here instead of holding them back up again. Oh no, I have to take the thumbnail picture, so I'll put them all back in the box, BRB. 17, 17 products, 17 empties. You know, a great way to have less stuff is to use up the products that you have. 
and to then be able to recycle the containers. So I have 17 things that are going out of my life because I've used them. Well, actually 15 things are going out of my life because I've used them up. And then one eye cream dried out and one body wash has too much coconut oil in it. And that is it. That's my empties video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. And I trust that you are remembering to take extra good care of yourself today so that you can be the most effective version of yourself as you do your work in the world.